Hey everyone and welcome on board Tangroa. It's our weekly video time. Sorry I've got the generator running in the background for this episode, but last week I got to be a stripper. Blaine put up some ceilings and I got some great news about my skin cancer. Hey everyone and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaro will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. Guess what? I'm getting rid of my bed. I'm getting, getting rid of. I'm getting a bed sheet and I'm getting rid of the piece of plywood that has been sitting in the salon for about a year and a half. This huge piece of marine ply half inch. It's been blocking my windows behind my television. I don't like it. Bert's gonna use it to build the bench seat and I have to go get some nice pretty mahogany because we're gonna make the bench seat look like the bed down in the master stateroom. I'm so excited. I don't know how to build a bench seat so it's better to hire out on this one and just watch what he does and I can learn. But let me show you the piece of plywood that's moving. That one. Out the door. And I get my windows back. And let me show you what's happening down here. Look at this whole opening right here. There's a bench seat going in there. It's oh, gonna be awesome. Right there. I'm so excited. Have nice solid floor, inspection ports in each little area and I am looking at this trying to figure out if I take this wall off right now but I want it as a template so how am I going to use a template and this one okay so you want to know what causes smell on boat this this is actually water inside the plywood look at that there's actually water sitting right there on top of the caulking can you see it all moisture and then it starts getting in behind it because the, the aluminum can't breathe so do not glue plywood onto bare aluminum it is not a good idea to glue plywood onto bare aluminum it needs a breathing space it needs yeah it needs breathing space people let it breathe let it breathe <sighs> it is dark but we are doing the honors okay where are you? I can't see right a here. thing. Okay, where the light switch is. Are you guys ready? One, two. Woo! Wow. We can wow. see in the bedroom now. Wow, our bedroom's a mess. Yes, it is. And look at this, guys. My sanctuary is coming together. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Blaine. You're welcome. It's nice to have lights again and be able to it's see. Nice to, nice to be able to and see. And they're very in bright there. in here. It is. Gotta show you our new swag. What do you think about this one? Oh, yeah. A little black Love hat. It. Oh, show us the sweatshirt, too. So, the sweatshirts are for the patrons. Very cool. Hats. So, Maggie's been off today and uh, we've been watching her, but now we're heading to the hospital. We think she's having trouble breathing, um, but I've never seen her so with no energy or anything. So Josh is driving me in right now. Um, I thought she ate something bad, I don't know. But yeah, we're just gonna head to the hospital. We've got the Victoria Animal Hospital on standby because Maggie's been having trouble breathing, it seems. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried. On my way into the animal hospital, I picked up Blaine because he's my rock. Hey everyone, we are in the parking lot of the Victoria Animal Hospital. Maggie is still not doing well. She's all checked in and we're just waiting for the nurse to call us so she can head in. We'll find out what's going on. But it's really odd, like even she wouldn't even jump up into the car. So I think something's wrong with her stomach. Um, because she won't stretch it out. And like even usually when we ride in the car, like you've seen her, she's usually standing right here next to me. 
but she won't even do that. So something's off and we're at the animal hospital and we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, Maggie update. Maggie update. Maggie update. Nothing she ate. No. And the doctor thinks, you explain it. The doctor thinks she felt her, she felt her tummy, uh, moved her joints, um, felt her back. Basically nothing that she did um, elicited any response from Maggie. No. Nope. Um, so her diagnosis is just that she probably jumped and hurt her back. Um, possibly, a, a, what did she say, a, a disc or something? Slip disc. A slip disc or something a like bulge that. A bulge in the spine. Possibly. Yeah. So we just got to take it easy with her. She's not allowed to run, jump or no. anything like that for the next And she says it's fairly normal while. with dogs like Maggie with the really long back. Yeah. Right? That they do. A lot of unsupported and you know what it could have been like today we went up to the beach and I took the dinghy right up to the beach to let her go for a pee and she launched herself off the bow of the dinghy which is about yeah, four three, feet high three feet three and a half feet yeah. yeah so she could have done something there launched herself onto the beach but um, yeah she has to rest relax and she gets pain meds so good no, ones no jumping no running I wonder no if Maggie will share her pain meds with me no that's a bad idea <laughs> bad idea so eight weeks rest yeah. So Relax. Maggie's, Maggie's gonna have a quiet eight weeks. No running, no jumping, and we have to lift her in and out of the no tender. No like, of any kind. Like hand under body, lift her in and out of the tender and stuff. So now we're just waiting at the vet. Um, they're just getting her meds ready, and then the receptionist's gonna call us and we'll go get her. Yes. How's she doing? She's doing well. So I think she's a little sleepy. Well, she's drugged. How you doing, Mags? I know, you hurt your back, love. Maybe when you launched yourself off the tender. I know. She hasn't yelped at all today. She seems to be pretty happy. It's because she's got meds in. So she is on... Oh, there she's like, oh, belly. She's on gabapentin <coughs> for nerve pain. And what else? Medicam. Medicam for pain pain. Poor Megs. But we have to lift her, and every time I lift her, she pees on my arm. So far, she's peed on my arm three times. I'm going through clothes a lot. She must just not like you. She hasn't peed on my arm once. Really? Nope. Maybe I pull, hold her in the wrong place and I push all the pee out. Mm. Could be. Funny thing, she was supposed to rest for eight weeks, but after one day, Maggie was up and running and jumping and playing and we could not even stop her. So I'm guessing that every boat out there has a bucket Hardware. We do. Look, this was full. I've been working my way through it. Lane wants me to get rid of everything that is stainless. That is not stainless steel. Let me clarify that. Everything that's not stainless steel has to leave because you only want stainless stuff on the boat. But I was like, well, how do I know? I don't know if it's stainless or not. And he came up and gave me the screwdriver, and I was like, I'm not gonna do this. And then I'm like, ah, there's a magnet on the end. So I go through it. And this is how to tell if it's st stainless or steel. Steel, bad, garbage. Steel, 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 or some other type of metal. Stainless, heat, stainless, stainless. Sometimes stainless has a little bit of a magnet, but not very much, so not like that. So you've got me doing this, getting rid of everything that's not stainless. Yes. Why? Because everything that's not stainless rusts. But sound like this is just, it's just God. Are we keeping the flatheads that are stainless? Mm, I wouldn't bother. I hate flatheads. Me too. Yeah, that is definitely not stainless. So rusty. So everything, and so that's why we only have stainless on the boat? How about that? Uh, that's still stainless, just uh, has a little bit more um, iron content in it. And we don't like rust on the boat, so we are getting rid of everything that... Everything for general fasteners anyway. I mean, obviously there's a lot of stuff on engines and whatnot that is not stainless steel. Um, but anything that we're going to be fastening deck related or pretty much anything short of engines is going to be stainless. And the best way is because magnet. Now why right. doesn't stainless um, pick up with magnet? Uh, because it's got a much lower um, iron content in it. 
So everything else picks up, but stainless. Yeah, stainless is pretty much non-magnetic unless you get to the lesser alloys like 304, uh, things like that. Um, that's that's got enough in it where it, it picks up on magnets. But uh, any of the good stainlesses, 316, 321, um, they typically will not. I was going to um, ask you about this one though. That, that is, is not stainless. That is not stainless. That's bronze, so that but... will be non-magnetic. Yeah, we tend to like to keep anything not uh, stainless or aluminum off the boat. Uh, copper is really bad, uh, but bronze will will interact as well. So we typically do not want that in contact with our aluminum. Bronze either. bad. No mixed metals. We only have aluminum and stainless on board. Yes. And my phone's ringing. Check that out. So we just had a great day. We went to Mill Bay, had lunch, and now we're back on our mooring and we're just gonna empty all the stuff off of, sorry, I'm just putting lines away, off of the aft deck, because we have a lot of garbage. And there's always garbage just, runs also. Not just regular household garbage, but Refit garbage. Refit garbage. Also, Dave and Chris are pulling our time out of the water tomorrow. So we're bringing all the stuff to paint the bottom of the boat. And that's going to be tomorrow's task. I fun at that. Blaine is not going to. I will. I'm sick that day. <laughs> and let's do this. I mean, you're sick that day. Where am I going to stand? Wherever you like. Just heading out to Tangaroa and we found this in the water and I'm just trying to figure out beautiful bald eagle I wonder what killed it um, I have no idea what killed it so I think I'm gonna give Wild Ark a call I just picked them out of the water in case they wanted to look at the body and analyze it or do whatever but I'm so sad they're, they're such majestic creatures but yeah we'll see what if anybody wants it or what to do with it. Well, that is great news. Um, as you saw yesterday in the video, um, I found a dead bald eagle floating in the water. It was actually in fairly good shape and I didn't know what to do with it. So I phoned Conservation, Conservation phoned the Sartlip um, Band Nation or phoned somebody, but I never heard back. So I don't know what happened there. So I took, phoned the Sartlip First Nations and said, hey, I've got this bald eagle. Would someone like it? right? That's all the feathers and everything. Well, a gentleman just called me back. Um, he says he would take um, the eagle and the feathers would use in their ceremonial regalia. And I'm really happy with that because bald, bald eagles are amazing. Um, I just didn't know what to do with, um, with it. I didn't want to just leave it floating in the water. Um, it is in fairly good shape. So he's going to call me and we're going to meet him um, tonight and I'll give him the eagle. My mission today is to finish up the generator box. Uh, well, I won't finish it this weekend. Um, still got a fair bit to do. Uh, I've got to move the generator backwards uh, a little bit. I'm going to shift the generator that way, uh, just so it gets a little closer to that side of the inside of the generator box. Give me a little bit more room up here in the front for sound insulation and whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to attempt to finish up this, this weekend is shifting that back and start making up the panels for the, the actual peripheral of the generator box to see if we can quiet it down a bit because it can get very loud when we're running the generator. Um, this generator is a bit louder than I anticipated, so we're going to see if we can quiet it down a little bit more and make it uh, pleasant. And while Blaine was working on the generator box, I got to help the local search and rescue with their training exercises. That was perfect! What do you want me to do? Just bring it all in. And there they go. It was so much fun. We were doing a SAR 
we were the SAR, what do you say it? The people that SAR rescued today just for practice. So they were throwing monkey's fists at us and uh, pretended that they would have to tow us someplace. Yeah, it's so much fun to help the local search and rescue group. They're amazing out here. It's all volunteer program and uh, government funded and by um, donation. So search and rescue, we love you guys out here. And anytime we can help, we're here for you. Everybody, Janice here. So what is going on today? Guess what? We have engines ready. Well, they're not really ready. Blaine had them up at a, um, a machine shop to get everything machined and set up. So I am on my way to Nanaimo to pick up the Cummins engines and to drop one off. I've got one in the back of the truck. Hold on. So yeah, heading to Nanaimo with uh, Miss Maggie and we're gonna go pick up some engines. Also, my favorite pokey place is in Nanaimo and I can't wait to have that for lunch. Hey everybody, so here we are at Island D Machine Shop and I am getting our new comments. I can't wait, they're just rebuilt them and they, I don't know, what do you do? Make them so pistons can go in? Yeah. And this is so Blaine's like area, not mine. So I'm quite excited and I'm dropping one off. Most of Cummins Marines all Blaine's, yeah. But no, he wants Cummins Red to be different. Oh, this one looks so much prettier than when I dropped it off. What do you guys think? And just to let you know, we got a good deal on these engines. That was about $3,500 of machine work here. And Blaine is going to finish the rebuild. And of course, we have Izzy, which you saw earlier, uh, ripping apart the engine. Something good for a 15-year-old girl to do. Okay, so we are at the pub. And we, we are playing music bingo. Blaine loves music bingo and it's his birthday weekend, so Blaine gets to do what Blaine oh, wants to do. I would like to give you an opportunity to air your grievances right now. <laughs> if you think that you have a bad <laughs> card for you, I'd like to make it a bad card. This is the bad card in here. Oh, you're still standing, you're still playing. I'm flipping the coin. You want your choice then because you're confident in your decision? You're confident in your decision, which means that you're totally locked in. Oh, they're all thinking heads. You're not coming out. And because you knew that it was going to be heads! You knew it was going to be a clip to the air. Just caught it. Very dramatic. It's tails! Where are we at around the corner? Is she sticking with tails? Alright. Oh, here it comes! Alright. I'm flipping the coin. The rest of you, feel free to participate in the drum roll. Have some fun. Here we go. The coin has been flipped. It's head. Oh, the hair in my mouth. <laughs> so we're just coming back from Music Bingo, and Blaine is pissed because they played country for the last time. And they played Andy Grammer. <laughs> as country. As country music. Honey, I'm good. I don't even know. Hey, oh, no, no honey, honey, I'm, I'm good. good. I no, could no, have no. another, but I probably should not. I got somebody at home. Do I stay, stay true? I... <laughs> to I will stay true. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will stay true. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyways, he's happy that now. That is so not country he music. He says that if it was in two days, which is his birthday, he'd be really pissed I'd be if really they played pissed. country. Yeah, yeah. Country music at Music Bingo, that's a bunch of bullshit. We go there for the 90s because sometimes they have a whole card of the 90s, which is very cool. I have to cool. say, out of all the times that I've been to Music Bingo, I have never heard a pure country playlist. That's a crock But the other shit. one that's on the country one was, Hey, soul sister. Yeah, that's that's not country music either. No. So they they sneak in a few good songs. Yes. Into the bullshit. But there's a lot of good ones. No. No. No, there isn't. There's a it's few good ones. It's five o'clock somewhere. And there's a bunch of garbage. No five o'clock somewhere. No. Well. <laughs> anyways, no. it was fun. Music bingo, brewskis. It was a good time. <laughs> good time. <laughs>